So what's new and important in version 3? Um, what isn't? So Microsoft has invested heavily in their remoting technology for version 3. Uh, they support the ability to disconnect a session, reconnect a session, have sessions be a little bit more resilient across network hiccups, things like that. Uh, and they've really incorporated remoting throughout the PowerShell product. Uh, it used to kind of be, I'm going to send a command to a server, I'll get results, yay, done. But it's a lot more intense than that now. I can sit on my computer and use a GUI that's really just using remoting to send commands to a server to bring results back to draw icons or whatever else. So the idea of having to install admin tools on your computer kind of goes away. You don't need to remote desktop into the server either. You get your GUI on your client, and remoting takes care of the connection in between. Uh, remoting plays into workflow too, which is, I think, a major feature that people are going to overlook because it's going to seem kind of, I don't know, maybe it's going to seem complicated or why do I care? I'm not sure that Microsoft's telling a great story about it yet, but man, there is a story to be told. You can imagine writing something that looks like a PowerShell function. A bunch of commands, they're going to execute some long-running process. Computers might have to be rebooted. Join to the domain, you have to reboot. Maybe there's the potential for network outages, but this thing has to survive, has to start back up, has to resume, has to log every single step it's doing. That's workflow. You put those commands into a workflow, a script, if you will. You pass it off to PowerShell. It translates it, hands it off to Windows Workflow Foundation. Windows Workflow Foundation coordinates it. It makes sure everything runs. It makes sure it's audited. It can parallelize, multi-thread different tasks for you. And at the end of the day, that's management. You know, I need to promote 20 domain controllers. Click one button, it's all done. I, those are probably two of the, the, I think, flagship features. There's more. You know, the, the integrated scripting environment, the ISE, I think this is the first time Microsoft has given us a tool that makes me wonder if I really need to buy a third-party commercial script editor. They're just putting out a great product, and it works well, pretty speedy, and it's extensible through a public API. So if there's some feature it doesn't have, I, my fellow MVPs will probably have that feature worked out in a couple of days, uh, and, and you can add into it. There's a lot in version 3. There's a lot worth looking at. Um, flagship features are, are definitely there. They're definitely great. A ton of just minor improvements and investments that are going to make things so much better for, for everybody who uses the shell.